Hey everyone, I'm here in a soil pit down in the Rutland, North Dakota area, which is southeastern North Dakota. We can see a lot of those soils that have developed over 40 years of no-till, plus another 20 years of use of cover crops and a diverse rotation. And so I think it's really interesting to look at these soils because you can understand where you may get in several years, and then to think about how you could speed those changes up using different practices. The thing that really strikes me in this profile is, is when you start breaking away in this top layer, um, it holds together really nicely when it comes off the face, but I don't have to put a lot of pressure on it to get it to break into those aggregates. So you can see the large aggregates and small aggregates, and it just it, it's just a really mellow, nice soil. You can see a lot of root development in this soil in this top horizon. But then the other thing I notice is that those roots extend deep and they don't spread laterally at all here because there's not a compaction layer. Those roots are going straight down into the soil and utilizing a lot of this soil profile. As I've been digging in here, I've been finding earthworms and a lot of other indicators that say that this is healthy soil and a great place for organisms to, to survive and to thrive. Um, so I just, I wanted to share this with you because I think it's a really unique opportunity to see an outstanding soil and to maybe understand some of the characteristics we look for.